Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 5 of our Angular Automation with Protractor TypeScript and Cucumber video series. And in this video we will be talking about Jasmine specs with describe and it blocks. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Describe and it blocks or Jasmine's global functions which are used in conjunction to describe a scenario or problem statement to make code more understandable. Since describe and it blocks are functions, they can contain any executable codes necessary to implement the test. JavaScript scoping rules apply, so variables declared in the a describes or available to any it blocks inside the suite. So it is going to be the same for the TypeScript as well. So TypeScript also have scoping rules. So it is going to be applied for that as well. So it is going to be pretty much the same. So describe and it blocks are going to be something like a methods and it's going to look something like this. You can see that we will have a describe method. This is the one which we created in our previous video, the describe method. And then within this describe method, you can have a first parameter, which is going to describe this particular method itself. And then it is going to accept a another method which is going to be the it block and this block is going to have the same kind of structure for describe and it is going to have other coding logics that is going to be used to verify a particular operation so this is how it is going to look like so it is going to have a describe and then it is going to have an it and you can also see that within a describe we can have nested its and we, within a it, you can also have a describe block and within a describe block, you can also have an it. So you can keep on nesting the describe and it in a number of times you want. So it's going to be something like very complex nesting as well if you want. But make sure that your code is not too much nested so that the readability is completely lost. So this is how it is going to look like. Let's quickly see this in action and understand how to write a simple describe an it block in our Visual Studio code for using TypeScript. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio code. So this is the same project which we were working on our previous video. So what I'm going to do this time is for this particular describe block, I'm just going to do something like this, describe, and then I'm going to open in here and you can see that it's going to expect me to pass a description for this particular describe block. So I'm going to say that going to write first test this is going to be the description and then you need to pass the spec flow definitions for this particular description again the definition should be something which is going to return you a void type but it can also be a block of code so in order to write the block of code you can write a function and then you can just do something like this and you can write it but in typescript we also have a fat arrow syntax so you can use that fat arrow syntax to perform that operation which means you no more need this particular function keyword rather you can just use something like this i can just delete it completely i can show you from the first you can see that within this you can also have something like this this particular fat error syntax to perform this particular operation right the shorthand of the function is going to be this particular fat error function which means there's a zero parameter being passed in for that particular function right and then in here you can call the it function block and within this it function block again there is an expectation this time so there is an expectation of what is the expectation of this particular scenario so let's say we have done something like this going to write our first test and the expectation is it should pass without any issues so this is our expectation right so simple it is and then we're gonna again do the same thing as we did for the describe block and the it is something which is going to be matching that particular criteria so in our C sharp or Java programming language, we use something like assert, but in Jasmine world, we have something called as expect method, which is going to perform this operation. And once again, the expect method is something which we'll be discussing in our next video of this course. But as I've now just been informed that there is a method called expect, which is going to perform that operation. 
right? So this is how you can write a describe an it block in Jasmine to perform the operation. So these are very, very important and are stepping stones for the future automation, even in Protractor, because even in Protractor we'll be using the same kind of structure to write the scenarios within Protractor to perform the operation. But before we close up this particular series, I'm going to do one more small change to our editor so that it looks a little bigger inside in terms of the font size. So I'm going to go to the settings and then I'm going to go to the workspace setting. And here I'm just going to say the font size to be from 14 to let's say 16 let's save it. And maybe I can make it 17 so that it's a little more bigger so that you don't have a hard time looking at this particular screen's font, right? That's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.